In our stories on EpiPen, saving lives of kids with severe allergic reactions. Now they're required in all schools. News 10's Susan L. Corey went to one elementary school today as those teachers got some life-saving training. It's scary. You never know if your son, if, if he's going to be out and something's going to be served to him. Christine Kuhnert's son has a peanut allergy, so she always carries an EpiPen. But in case of an emergency, she's happy all public schools will have a backup. If something were to happen, at the unknown, that there is something there that can treat him right away. The new law requires schools to have two EpiPens and at least two staff members trained to use them. Our staff know that the first thing we do is we call 911, we use the EpiPen and then call the parents. At Horizon Elementary in Holt, all staff are getting trained, which involves watching an instructional video and practicing with training devices. We do need to be informed. We need to know what the symptoms are of some, uh, if a child is, is having an allergic reaction. It's not just helping kids with known allergies. In almost 25% of anaphylaxic cases, severe allergic reactions that can be fatal, children had never been diagnosed with an allergy. And doctors know that having EpiPens on hand is an important line of defense. It's an allergy where you can't breathe, where your throat's tightening up, where literally every second counts. So being able to have access to an EpiPen can literally mean the difference between life and death. Two devices and a training session that's giving parents some peace of mind. And of course there's a lot of foods that kids don't realize there's peanuts in, so it's good to have that back up. In Lansing, Susan L. Corey, News 10. The EpiPens are not meant as an alternative for students who already have a prescription. They should continue bringing that to school, but under the new law, they're still protected if they forget their drugs or their device.